What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Happy Monday. It's the start of the week and um, we're going to start another project on this thing. Uh, not another car project, but another project as far as uh, activity on the Fairmont. Today, I really want to tackle finishing this up as in welding those two holes in, welding that up, and uh, I've already started on this side. Obviously, I, I want to kind of make it flush in this little crevice area because we got one. So, stuck my piece of paper behind, traced it out, cut it out, and I got to add a little bit here and there. But first rendering, not too bad. From here, we're going to find some really small washers, stick them in these holes, weld around, and then weld the centers. And this should be pretty easy. Knock it right out of the park. Nice and simple. At least that's the plan. So... I'm going to start getting going on that, and then uh, of course on this side, I got to come in and weld here, here, and over there. And pretty much my plan is uh, take this template and just build two, uh, one for the driver's side, one for the passenger side, get that all welded up nice and easy, and then we are going to move either further down on the firewall or start <clears throat> or start passing the floor uh depending on the information i get on chassis search stuff uh obviously working on that uh we need a few more cars and then we'll probably be able to get a chassis cert done at local track that's the safety park cicero and if that's the case then i need to start working on getting this thing rolling again so we're gonna figure it out take it day by day as far as what needs to happen with the car but for now I'm going to work on cleaning up the firewall with these patches, and uh, that is the that is the idea so far. So that is what I'm going to do. I just want to hop on, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. I'm making more patches. Let's get to it. All right, so I took my paper patterns, turned them into real patterns. I got my washers that I decided are going to fit perfectly. Um, I kind of uh, bored out these holes a little bit with a drill, just so that way they'll sit recessed in there, and all this should be pretty much flush. Uh, not a whole lot of grinding. I don't feel like grinding a whole bunch like I've been doing over there uh, in this area. Obviously, last video you saw that, but taking care of this, this side's done. Um, I don't know. I got all my stuff cut out, so now it's pretty much time for me to tack it all in place, make sure it fits and looks good, and then weld it all up, grind the crap out of it, make it all flat and look nice-ish. Um, Anything's better than what we got working with it uh, right now. I mean, anything's better than a giant hole that goes right into the car. So we're going to get this done. I'm going to set the camera up. We're going to get to work. And uh, the top of this section, as far as through here, it's going to be taken care of. And once that's taken care of, move to another section and just keep knocking sections out. And we're going to get this thing done. So that's pretty much how I do a lot of these patches. I get my cardboard paper, it's kind of thick paper stuff, um, and just make a pattern. I make a pattern that fits, and then I make it out of metal, double check the metal, and uh, then you got your pattern. So that is what I do. Um, and now I'm going to put the metal in, weld it in, and create this patch completely, get it all done. So I must have the camera up, we're gonna get back to work, and uh, that's that. So. I'm going to knock this out so we can move on to something else. And I don't know what that something else is going to be, but I'm sure it's going to be something else.
about to enter the uh, fun part of that pr of this process and as soon as I hop in here and that's the grinding part we welded got our everything covered up got our two holes covered up welded all that up so now it's time to hop in here grind it down make it look nice and pretty hit any areas um, that are just low or didn't get welded or anything of that nature that just got covered up um, just make it look nice again so that is where we're at i'm gonna hop on this fun part and uh start grinding this stuff down and then we're gonna go from there so like i asked in friday's video i am trying to make um upgrades to this channel as far as i want to produce stuff that you guys want to see so let me know drop it down below um obviously i'm working i'm working pretty damn hard on getting this thing up and running ready for next season and we're gonna have a bunch of fun with that but in the meantime what do you want to see um is there any specifics you want me to get into or try to get into do my own research and explain or just let me know what you guys want to see i really want to improve this and make this a better experience for y'all so let me know i am open to suggestions and i will uh I will look into just about every single one just to make this better. Um, I just wanna, I wanna give you guys something you guys wanna watch, obviously. That's it's, it's what we got going on, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing this uh, for, you know, produce content. I enjoy it. I enjoy doing it and I wanna be better at it and I wanna make it better and I want the experience to be better for you guys. So let me know what you guys wanna see. Um, either comment or get with me, message me, whatever, but let me know. Let me know what you guys wanna see. I am gonna go put a grinding shield on and start going to work on this and hopefully hopefully this goes easy compared to the other areas of this but hopefully this one is a little bit of an easier area and uh, works with me better but that's what we got going on let me know what you guys want to see let me know how I can improve and uh, I'm gonna put a grinding mask on and uh, get to work on this and I'll show you guys the and product and hopefully it works out well for me and everything looks good so all right i'm gonna get back to work thank you guys let me know what you guys want to see and uh just drop it in the comments but i'm gonna get back to work on this deal back, 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 back. As you just saw it's uh done ish it's all painted and uh the reason i painted it is not because it's done done but mainly because it gets super humid uh this time of year and it just has the possibility of rusting because it's, it's bare metal and it will i mean i got some tubes here that are showing some surface rust on some welds i mean i'll just right down here so i will gladly grind it off sand it down and repaint this all at once and make it look a lot better but for now it's just something just to protect it real quick um like i said it's still subject to change i still could come back through and fix some of this i'm not like a hundred percent sold on it but uh it's done enough for now um with that being said it's time to move on and do some other stuff so that is where we're at i mean i got a lot of holes i need to fill up and it's all right it's all right.
it'll take some time, but we'll get it done. It needs to be done, so it's it's not like something I can skip. And eventually, down the road, we are going to be getting back to this rot repair that's right in the uh, right in the car. And honestly, I'd love to take care of that next, but we'll see. Um, we'll see how I'm feeling come come Monday, and uh, we'll go from there. But things coming along. Uh, I really, really want to get moving on this front stuff because I want to start throwing suspension and crap in here and measuring from a rear end and, and get this thing to a roller. I mean, like, once it's like a roller, then it's throw the the motor in and all this stuff. But we're, it feels like we are so far away, but in a few weeks, we could, we could start doing roller stuff, which would be really, really cool. Um, there's a few things up front that need to be finished, welded up, um, which... I'm hoping that we'll get to next week. There is a few things like the rot repair that needs to be done, which I'm really hoping to get to next week. It's just, if we can get through the rot repair, the stuff up front that needs to be welded that I need to really get to, we can really move to the back of the car and um, get rear suspension taken care of. Because once the rear suspension is taken care of, then we can come up front. And once the front suspension is taken care of, then we can drop the motor in here. And once we drop the motor in here, that's just cool. It's just gonna be really, really awesome. So I like we are like on the verge of getting to that point. And then things are really gonna start picking up. It's gonna get really, really awesome. But I just need to keep pushing through and do the bull work right now so that way I can start enjoying the other stuff. But the top of the firewall didn't come out too bad. Um, I'm not, you know, a hundred percent on it. I'll be, I'm going to be very honest with you. It's not perfect, but it's done. And, um, we're kind of getting to the point where I just, it, it, I need to start, uh, I need to start getting really, really after this thing. I mean, next, I mean, it, it seems like a long time, but it's, uh, we're going into July. So, Spring is right around the corner. I know it's kind of comical to think about, but this stuff takes so much time. It's ridiculous, but we'll get it done. We're going to keep plucking away at it. You can't just take a project of this scale. And I'm, I'm, I know if I did this full time, I could knock this out a lot sooner, but you know, a few hours every night is really what I'm allowed to do. Uh, just timing wise. And of course I got to edit videos and stuff and get that stuff out. But is what I do, is what I want to do. So, per usual, let me know how I can improve this stuff. Let me know what you want me to do um, to improve it. Things are going to start picking up soon. I promise we are like on the verge of, uh, we are like on the verge of doing cool things, like doing rear suspension stuff. Because then, once the rear suspension is taken care of, we're going to move to the front. Once the front suspension is taken care of, then we're going to take that motor. I'm going to strip all the AC stuff off of it. Get a new intake for it, start doing motor plates, get that up front. Um, once that's up front, we're going to put a transmission in. We're going to measure for a drive shaft. We're going to, like, it's going to start snowballing, and then it's wiring and fuel lines and plumbing, and then it's building a turbo kit, and you can see how this can escalate very, very fast. This is, we just have to get through the bowl work right now, the bowl work fabrication, and then we can start doing the bolt-on stuff, which is super easy, but... Luckily for me, I love doing the bulwark fabrication stuff. It's, it's what I really enjoy doing, so I'm not complaining. But as far as video content-wise, it does lack because it's not as fun as bolting on cool shiny parts. But we're going to get through it. Um, hopefully by the end of next week, rot repair is done. And the welding that needs to be done up front it is well on its way. Um... As far as the strut tower stuff, the firewall, I won't be working on the firewall if I'm working on rot repair. And I won't be working on rot repair if I'm working on firewall. So I got to figure out what I want to tackle next week and just do it and live with it. So that is really where we're at, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Monday. Let me know how I can improve these videos. I want to improve them. I want to grow the audience of this stuff. I, I, I'm really starting to enjoy doing this. So thank you guys for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. The front is well on its way to getting all cleaned up and flat and all that fun stuff. But that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys Wednesday. 
Hope you guys had a great beginning of your week, and I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your week. So, see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.